On a visit to a gallery or museum, we've come to expect a multi-sensory and interactive experience. The reality that we perceive can be added to with educational content or just fun extras. Virtual spaces, objects, characters, events, even from other ages, can seem to be happening in the here and now. This is known as augmented reality, virtual elements added to the real world. Augmented reality can come via any mobile device, a smartphone or a tablet, but also a computer, enriching our sensory perceptions with audiovisual content and multimedia, which can create total immersion. That's the case with historical reconstructions where the user actively participates or a text which gives information, tables, graphics, animations, plans which are displayed on the screen at the moment, you see the real reality augmented by the application. This content can be updated or modified at any moment or linked to an outside web page such as e-commerce or social networks. Augmented reality must respect a few fundamental rules, combining the real and virtual worlds operating in real time and respecting the three dimensions of reality. We can create virtual itineraries in museums or in exhibition spaces as well as outside. As well, augmented reality can be linked to a work of art even when it has been lent to another gallery. We can create virtual trails with the artist who might not even be in the same space in the case when the museum is too small. Quando, per esempio, museo è troppo piccolo. Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park is seen as one of the first so-called mixed reality films combining digital dinosaurs and filmed images.